Okay, our first tractor case steamer belongs to the Western Dakota Antique Club. 1911 case, 65 horsepower.
Okay, then we have a 1948 Alice Chalmers G. Uh, again, it was a unit that you could uh, mount various appliances, uh, yeah. Utilities to uh, belongs to Lawrence Trump. Lawrence Trump. 1948 Alice Chalmers G. And then we have one of those little known Ford tractors that almost everybody seemed to have, 8N or 9N, but this is a 9N Ford, 1940. 9N Ford, Barbara Trump. 1940, 9N Ford. Okay, and we've got another one of our steamers coming up here. Belongs to Don Benavon. Driven by Tony Devan and Todd Jacobs. 1917 Waterloo. 1917 Waterloo. 1646. 16 horsepower to the wheel. 46 horsepower to pulley. If you're wondering why the differentiation, it's because it took a lot of power to turn those steel wheels to keep it rolling. So we only have usable 16 horsepower at the hitch and 46 on the wheel, or on the pulley. Okay, when the 1919 Ford 
wasn't making the grade for some people, they decided to try to replace it with a 1920 Samson. General Motors decided to get in the game to compete with Henry Ford. And so here we have the Beck family driving the 1920 Samson Model M, built by the General Motors Corporation. And then behind that we have a 1927 McCormick Deering 1020. Again, the same thing. 10 horsepower to draw bar, 20 horsepower to fly wheel. That belongs to the ring guard. Ron Ringo. Okay, then we have. Yeah. Well, we've got a, a John Deere. I do know that. It's got a cultivator on it. We seem to have misplaced the cars for a little bit here. I think that's an M, isn't it? Yeah, John Deere M. Okay, 1952, John Deere M. Belongs to Walter Wyckoff. Black Wyoming, 1940, Alice Chalmers WC. Okay, then we have Looks like we've got a few lawnmowers here. We've got a Cub Cadet, two Cub Cadets, and we have a Ford. A little bit smaller version of Tractor. Thank you. 